So there have been some new questions about the timeline of a COVID vaccine for children under five, and the FDA delayed a meeting that was set for next week about it. We're joined live by Dr. Yvonne Maldonado, a professor of pediatric infectious disease at Stanford, who helped conduct clinical trials of the Pfizer vaccine in children. Thank you, doctor, so much for joining us. First, the FDA says it wants more data from Pfizer. So can you tell us what it is they're hoping to learn about the dosage for kids in this age group, and how do you think this is going to affect the timeline for parents who are really waiting for this? Well, actually, I think this is going to be a good thing for families um, who are waiting for the vaccine. I know they want it as quickly as possible, but this will provide us additional data on the third dose. As we all remember, uh, the original two-dose study of children under five showed that the antibody responses in those little children were not as robust as in older children and adults. So this gives us time to be able to do a third dose a study that's already going on, should be done within a month or so, and then some time for the company to analyze that data. So we can have a really good idea of whether this vaccine can work in a three dose series for those youngest children. Okay, so when we do reporting on this, we do hear from some parents sometimes who have doubts about getting their younger children vaccinated. So I wonder if you think this delay might actually give them even more pause and, and what would you tell a parent like that who's worried about it? Well, I understand the concern about COVID. I mean, it's obviously a new virus and people have underplayed the importance of the virus in children, but thousands and thousands of children have been hospitalized with this disease over the course of the pandemic. And we know the vaccine so far uh, has demonstrated perfect. remarkable okay, safety. So, Louise, I so I do think that parents arm, need okay. to be very uh, reassured so to... that the best studies are being done right now. This is the right way to do it. Okay. Follow the science and follow the data. And we'll have those data very soon. You know, one of the other big headlines that we've been talking about quite a lot is that we're waiting for the state to update us next week on the guidelines for masking in schools. And I wonder, do you see the state lifting the mask mandate for schools anytime soon? You know, I don't have that crystal ball, but honestly, um, and working with the American Academy of Pediatrics, we really feel that one, no, the one, number one thing is to keep kids in school as, uh, as much as possible. And I really think that at this point, until the littlest kids have access to vaccines, masks in, in school are really going to be the best way. We also need to up the vaccination rates in, in older kids. The vaccination rates of 5 to 11-year-olds are dismal. And if we don't vaccinate those kids, they're going to they're gonna get infected and people are going to have to stay home. We really want to avoid that if possible. Yeah, I know a lot of parents just have a lot of burning questions about this right now. So, Dr. Maldonado, thank you so much for deciphering all this for us. We appreciate it. Have a good evening.